Hello! So since I'm not doing any more Dragon Ball content, I figured why not bring in some Naruto content. And today I'm going to be talking about something people have wondered about for a pretty, pretty long time in the Naruto community. At least they were wondering about it prior to the release of Naruto Chapter 631, where where Sakura attained her Biak her, uh, Myconic Regeneration Steel power-up, and that was, what is the slug variation of save mode? We had seen the snake one, which allowed Kabuto to fight Sasuke and Itachi at the same time, and the toad one, which allowed Naruto to defeat six of the path of the path of pain. I believe it was six. It was either six or five. But allowed him to just see all but be all but one of the six paths of pain controlled by Nagato. So let's jump right into this with why I believe nobody has mastered it. Okay, I'd like to say straight out, I don't think Zunade can do it, and I think Zunade knows Sakura can't do it, and that is why it was never mentioned. I believe Zunade is confident in it with it. It is not within the range of something her or Sakura will ever be able to achieve in their lifetime. So I feel like she's kind of leaving it up to Katsunyu. Like if Sakura ever needed to learn it, and she, Katsunyu felt she could do it, Katsunyu could tell her during the, the slug to have her own version of save mode, we're going to teach it to you. And you can attempt to learn it. But I feel like Zunade probably tried to learn it years ago, and just failed. Not like Uriah did, where he wasn't able to fully master it. I mean, she couldn't even get past step one. It was just too hard. Because every version of stage mode has given you different ability. The toad version, or the frog version, depending on if you think there's a difference, there is a difference between toads and frogs, but people seem to forget that. Bothers me. There's a difference between toads and frogs that bothers me. No, but, so, the Toad version of Save Mode mostly enhances all of your physical abilities. That is what it does. You gather nature, nature energy inside of your body by being completely still, which is the reason Naruto needs to have two Shadow Clones on Mount Miyaboku. Because, of course, because of Kurama, he is not able to gather nature, he is not able to uh, use the power of the Chief Toad, of, of, of the Elder Toad. So that is what, or Ma, he's not able to use Ma or Pa Chakra and your nature energy like Uriah did, because Uriah relied on Ma and Pa, Naruto can't do that. But so, you gather nature energy by being still, and then you can use something called Frog Kakata or Frog Kamoite. Frog Kamoite pretty much allows you to use nature energy to enhance your blows and make your Taijutsu much more powerful. That is the reason you see Naruto using a lot more Taijutsu in his pain fight than he ever did previously. Because his Frog Kamoite abilities allowed him to enhance it. So that is where Toad Save Mode does. It also gives you a, a ton of other abilities, but those are more basic Save Mode abilities, like the ability to sense things, etc. Kabuto, well, you know, it's just like watch the anime. Kabuto were very similar. Kabuto got ability to do summonings, he got a couple of, like, light attack, where he could, like, shoot beams of light. Kabuto's stage mode was a lot weirder than Naruto's, alright? And, and a lot more complicated, there was, like, a dragon version, it's just, just look into it yourself, maybe I'll do a video on it. But each version of stage mode had different abilities. So what would Slug stage mode's ability be? Well, allow me to go explain what I believe it was. As we know, from what we had seen of the slugs, the way it's not much, I actually think the slugs are what the ones we had seen the least of, which isn't saying much, considering we've only seen two snake summoning from Urushimaru and Sake combined, but even between both Sakura and Zunade, we've only seen Lady Katsuyu. I'm not sure why. Maybe Kichi could have come up with a way to make a slug look cool. It was like, it's, Katsuyu is a giant slug. I mean, I'm just leaving it up to Kichimoto with like, Okay, what can I do? Slugs. There is nothing cool I can do with that. 
there really isn't. So what he did with Costunia was probably the best he could do. Granted, Costunia was really cool. I really like Costunia as a summon. I think her abilities are very interesting. But not beside the point. But we saw from Costunia that it appeared the slug is the specialized in healing. They specialize in medical ninjutsu, which is of course meant to go with that that both Sakura and Zunata are medic. It's incredibly convenient, but it does make sense that a, that a slug that specializes in medical ninjutsu and healing would be the summoning animal for two expert medics. That actually makes perfect sense. But what ability would a slug training you in stage mode grant you? If, as I explained, the different animals have different versions of it based on the way they teach it. Well, that medical ninja is based around chakra control, as we know. Even the most basic techniques are something that I don't even, I doubt Naruto to this day could perform mystical, mythical healing palm, or mystical healing palm, which is the basic technique that we see Sakura using pretty much throughout the entire series. It's the one where she creates the green glow with her hands. Is the one that she uses pretty much all the time. There are other techniques like chakra scalpel and the technique Sakura used to like control, to like remove the poison from Kabuto. We've seen other techniques, but that's the main one. And even that is a basic technique that requires a tremendous amount of chakra control. So what I believe is that the slug version of stage mode is actually about using your nature energy only in combat and to regenerate your own womb. So what I pretty much believe it is, as you know, nature energy surrounds your body. So slug stage mode is most likely bringing in the nature energy, but instantly use or converting it into the same type of energy as the mystical healing hall when it touches your skin. So let's say you had a cut on your arm, when it adds, you would absorb it and then use it to heal your arm. It pretty much instantaneous regeneration because I, we saw in Sakura fight with Doctor that I met that you need to actually stop fighting, putting your hands on the wound and heal it, which is a major drawback. And while Byakudo allows you to bypass this because it regenerates your cells instantaneously, this is a much more efficient method. It would allow you to heal pretty much anything and maybe even regrow limbs because you're using nature energy which is not your own energy, it's life force around you. So you could potentially even regrow limbs. But I believe the whole thing with this is, I believe unlike Naruto, who even when he's in stage mode, his Rasengan is still Chakra. This is the best example I can give. So let's say Sakura would to use the slug variant in a stage mode, I believe the, the, that, that style is comprised of then making your attack out of nature energy. So if Sakura hypothetically did a Rasengan while in that mode, it would actually be a 100% nature energy Rasengan. It would not be composed of your chakra. So you would be drawing on an unlimited supply of power, but it would be much more difficult to control. Almost impossible. Because you would need to be constantly doing it. You would need to be, while in battle, constantly drawing in this energy and using it like chakra. It would be ten times more difficult than what Naruto does. So the point I'm getting at is that you would just use nature energy for everything. Sakura and Zunani would instead of using their own chakra to heal them to enhance their strength, they would enhance it with the nature energy and then they would have all their old chakra left over. But you have to realize, controlling nature energy is incredibly difficult. Naruto had trouble bringing it into his body when he was completely still. It's not just you sit still like, and the nature energy that comes in. No, there's a whole, we don't really know what it's like, but you do, but there is a technique to actually absorbing that nature energy. And Naruto had trouble just absorbing it. We're talking about absorbing it constantly, while moving, while in combat, moving it throughout your body into a specific point, and then using it. Like, for doing attack with it, and doing ninjutsu with it. A completely different thing than what Naruto does. So you're, so you're not enhancing their skills, they're using, like, super versions of their skills. And I believe the reason it's so hard to master is because 
It is very clear that nature energy is much harder to control than chakra. And I believe while both chakra and Zunati have amazing chakra control, I do believe the reason they can't use this form is because they can't control the nature energy well enough. In fact, I don't think there's ever been a ninja in the Naruto-verse that demonstrated it. We've never heard about it. I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass right now and guessing. I could be completely wrong. I very well could be. So again, this is just me just rambling, speculating how slug stage mode works and what it would do, how it works, why no one has used it. Tell me your thoughts. It, if Slug Stage Mode were to be introduced, like, and on a cliffhanger, what would you speculate, what would you think it would do? What do you think its ability would entitle? What do you think its specialty would be? I think its specialty is regeneration, like, you can, like, regenerate limbs. Not, I would, I would say the back in power thing would be a more, a, a less overpowered version of what Piccolo, what Piccolo can do in Dragon Ball. As long, as long as your head is destroyed, you can regenerate, like, if your arm is cut off, you can regenerate that. Stuff like that. But those are my thoughts. Tell me in the comments what you guys would expect Slug Save Mode to be capable of. And subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, if you enjoyed it, leave it a like. I'm going to start bringing you guys probably one Naruto video a week if I can. And once Boruto gets the new content, you know, I'll start talking about that. But I really want to talk about Naruto on this channel. Because Naruto is something way more interesting than Dragon Ball. And I enjoyed this video a lot. So we're gonna more of this. So again, have a great day, guys.